Hello, welcome to Sheepdog Says I'm Sheepdog and this is Lamb Pup. It's really hard to remember what side is what on this new camera. I was about to reach that way because at the corner of my eye I can see that she's to my left. Um, we did discuss beforehand, Lamb Pup thought she had to look that way to to look away from me. It was all very confusing, but I think we've got the hang of it now, haven't we? We did a few practice videos, so hopefully this is right. Mm -hmm. um, so it is now two days until we go on holiday. Yeah. I think our flight's at 10 a.m. If I'm wrong, we could be late, but I think we'll be all right. Yeah. Are you excited that we're going to America? I yes. oh, can't wait. Yes. Now, as I mentioned time and time again, we are doing a bit of a Disney theme this week, and I'm going to do Lamp Up's Disney video today and Bosco's tomorrow because Bosco's having a bath. So I figured we'd split them up and it'd be good. Yeah. And plus, it means I don't have to think of a video tomorrow. Woo hey! Um, so. First things first, I want to know what Lamb Pup's top five Disney films are. Now, as I mentioned, I did originally want to know her top five princesses because we were going to debate princesses, but then I felt really bad for sh you know, pigeonholing you mm. into the girly girl stuff. So now you're going to give me your ultra neutral boy and girl favourite films all across the board, um, mm -hmm. which is Lamb Pup's top five Disney films. Do you have an order on them? You've written them down. Is there a um, backwards order? Is there like a least... Are they written in order? Could we read them bottom up, do you think? That seems... Um, I think I know my order. Even though okay. So what is numero five, your fifth favourite film from Disney? L least. Yeah, of the five, yeah. Um, Sleeping Beauty. Now, I'm surprised that's on your list because Sleeping Beauty is a, a Disney film for me that, yeah, it's all right. She has a kip for a thousand years or something and then a bloke turns up and saves her. Is it a thousand years? Or is it... hundred. She's, so, 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 so <laughs> she's, what? Asleep like for 100 years. 15 year old woman, 20 year old woman, falls asleep, a hundred years. She's 115 years old and a man turns up and gives her a kiss. Is that the story? Um, well, she's and then she marries. She marries years. a man a hundred years younger than her. No, she's basically Seems the same age. What? She, 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 <laughs> but time went by while she was asleep. How does that work? I don't know. She just <laughs> somehow stayed the same age. Hmm. I'm surprised that that's because I don't. I don't remember any songs from that other than actually no. That's Pinocchio. So what the hell am I thinking of? Um. Yeah. What's the song from Blue, uh, from Sleeping Beauty? Um, I think it's just where she sings to the animals. Yeah. I, I don't know. I know. Well, they all sing to the animals in those earlier films, didn't they? Okay, that surprises me because if I was, I don't know, if I was thinking about the films we'd watch most, I don't know what I know what I think your favourites would be, but there's some films I've seen your list out the corner of my eye, and I some films on it I'm shocked on on it, so I might run down mine at the end. But what's your number four then? Um, be quick. Cinderella. Cinderella. Okay, that's a massive film. That's a big deal. That, like, saved Disney. But again, I'm kind of like, wow, that's an old school film. What's so good about that? Is it because she's the, the dressy one that has a big chariot and horses and stuff? Um, she's got the style and the fashion. I just, I just like it. Just like it. I just like it. Yeah, okay, we can glaze over that one. I can't really complain. I'm just surprised again. So what's your number three? Um, Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid. That's got the best songs. That would be in my top five, definitely. Hands down, no questions asked. Um, I'm trying to think where that would be in my top five. I, that's definitely third, fourth, or fifth. It's not in my top two, but Little Mermaid is awesome. She's got the best story, the best aspirations, the best songs, the best sidekick. There's a, t a Jamaican crab in it. It's, I like uh, the singing crab. I also like that yeah 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 part of the uh, kiss the girl song which was very fun singing in the car the other day um you realize on the way down to the airport and to essex and to everything we're going to be listening to disney songs because it's in my head now um so what is your number two beauty and the beast beauty and the beast taylor's yeah. oldest time so i can't the argue with that one. i think that the new one yeah. with emma watson as beauty yeah Belle. who plays hermione yeah, Hermione mm -hmm. as Belle. That's surprising because the cartoon is the classic. The cartoon's awesome. But Beauty and the Beast is a good, good film. I think that would be my number five just because it's up there. It's a great film. I also like the fact that she sings the song about Beauty and the Beast and basically she tells her own story at the start of the film. Have you ever noticed that? She sings a song about a, guy, a girl who meets somebody and doesn't realise that they're a prince and falls in love with them. Yeah. It's at the start of the film anyway. I think that's clever. So your number one, 
I knew. I guessed. I knew it. I mean, I knew because there's a picture of her on your bedroom wall yeah. and because it's awesome. It's a proper brilliant film. But what is your number one Disney film? It is... Moana! Moana! Yeah, and that is definitely in my top five as well, I would say. I think if Beauty and the Beast was number five, my favourite, mm-hmm. my number one, is The Lion King, which is why I fell out with Bosco yesterday for calling it a baby's film. <laughs> but number two, I would say, is Moana. It's got the rock in it. It's got some fantastic mm-hmm. songs and it's just great. Yeah. I don't know about my number three. I want to, Part of me feels like Aladdin. Aladdin is a great film. Robin Williams is the genie. We need to watch that. Number four, The Moy Maid. That is a great film. What's that? The Mermaid. Oh, the then number five, I am I am tossing up between The Aristocats um, and Beauty and the Beast because The Aristocats is just fantastic for all the jazz music. Yeah. Everybody wants to be a cat because a cat's the only cat who knows where it's at. Yeah. Um, so that's the top five films. I'm happy with that. Who are you most looking forward to seeing when we're in Disney? Because all of the characters are going to be there. I want to see Moana. She and should be I there. I want to see... Maui. Maui. I want to see Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Well, when you buy the tickets, it Let's comes with an autograph go. book. Yeah. And I have booked a like meeting with Mickey and Minnie. Um, I'm hoping that Donald Duck will be there. Um, because I want to compare my mm-hmm. Donald Duck <laughs> impression <laughs> with, with the real Donald Duck. And see whether he can understand me. Um, I'm hoping we do get to meet Maui. Yeah, because that would be cool. It'd be a real god. Um, now that Disney own Marvel, I'm hoping. I, I was I was chatting to Lamp up earlier, and I said to her, "Would you rather we got to Disneyland and Spider Man was there, and we met Spider Man, or would you rather your best friend was there and you got to spend time with her at Disney?" And what way did you vote, you lunatic? <laughs> My best friend. She wa- She would rather go on holiday and stumble across her best friend and be like, "Oh, how did you get here?" Than meet Spider Man. Yes, I don't like it. What? I don't, I don't watch Marvel. You do watch Marvel. You watched the Thor film with us. And? You thought it was great. You've seen most of the Avengers films. Yeah. I mean, I'll forgive yeah, you. She's your best like... friend. I, if it was meeting my best friends or any <laughs> of my friends or. Basically, if it was see you out there or see Spider Man, I think I'd rather. No, I'm joking. I'd rather see you out there. But but beyond my immediate family, it's Spider Man. I'd want to meet him and I'd want to solve crimes with him. I think it'd be great. Yeah. Uh, what ride are you looking forward to most? Splash Mountain. Is that really the one? Yeah. Have all the rides. Or, That's the one you're looking forward to. Um, and the haunted house. Funnily enough, Splash Mountain is the first ride we're going to go on on Monday morning. Yeah. At about half nine, I think it is. And the haunted house, I think I haven't booked because the queue is one of the best parts of that ride. Yeah. So, yeah, like that'll be a, a fun two hour queue. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to them. I'm also really looking forward to the safari where we sit in the, the, the we sit in like cars and go around the, I think it's the Sahara or fun. Kilimanjaro or something. I can't remember now. But you go, yeah, you go around and see wild animals. And the animal kingdom is just all Lion Kingy stuff. So that's going to be ace. Um, is there anything else you're looking forward to for the holiday in general? What's the What's the thing you're looking forward to most about being over um, in America? Is it the um, Pokemon? No. Is it the fact that I get to catch a Heracross? No. Is it the it's fact... It's nothing about Pokemon. Is it the fact that over there, American beer is just beer and I can drink beer? No. no? It's something that I can do. Is it, is it the fact we have a swimming pool in our house? Because that's... I can't wait. For and that. I'm excited to look around. Yeah. Because I'm really excited. Because I've forgotten what it's looked like, except for the kitchen and the bedroom. More. You remember more than me, then, to be fair. I remember. So the place we're staying in has a basement that has a basketball machine, an air hockey yeah. machine, and some other type of sort of arcade machine thing. Uh, um, which is going to be great fun. We could just play around yeah. down there. It's going to be really good. That's probably where I'm going to mm. record videos because it looks like it has yeah. a nice lighting and setup. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Mm-hmm. So. We have one more day of school, and then you're done for year four now. And then we go. And then we go then to Saturday Nanny Rears. We've got Nanny, and then we sleep there, and then we go. And airport. then it's nine hours on an aeroplane. <laughs> what are you going to do on a plane? Uh, what television? Because it's a telly. Yeah, I'm bringing the Switch, so I'm going to try and play Mario. Or I have promised Bosco we'll play uh, Pokemon I want Yellow. To play Mario. You could play Mario while me and Bosco Yay. play Pokemon Yellow. You could bring your DS and play Mario Kart. Yeah. yeah, but you're 
But the, the um, but the, Nito, yeah, that is that. Nito we could probably discuss this off the, off the camera. <laughs> I'm going to try and sleep, I imagine, but nine hours. I'm going to just... try and eat. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, you're hyped, yeah? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. This is going to be the best holiday ever. Yeah. I'm kind of disappointed, by the way, Long on your list that Frozen and Tangled didn't make it. I left Tangled out of my list. Tangled replaces uh, um, um, Aristocats. Tangled goes in the top five. It's probably number three. Tangled is a fantastic film. Uh, I get why Frozen isn't on there because you're a bit old for that now. I was gutted because I booked us on the Frozen ride on the fourth but... or fifth day, and and this one was like. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think she'd have probably given her left arm to meet Elsa and Anna a couple of years ago, wouldn't you? Probably. I've still got the dolls, but I don't play with them. You'll it's be like, excited when we see Olaf. I only like playing with, with them. When we're on that ride dolls. and Olaf is waving at you, you're going to be like, ah! You will. I just want to give him you a will. hug and walk away. We're all going to turn into <laughs> little five-year-olds when we arrive, I think. <laughs> you're going to be like, oh my everybody. God, I'm going to embarrass you so much. Oh, no. I am. Because I'm just no. going to be like, oh, no! Oh, no. Ah! Oh, no. I think Sven will be there. Is Sven the donkey? The, not a donkey. The What's the name of the reindeer? Olaf. No, that's... Sven. It is Sven, isn't it? Yeah. Well, hey, I'm going to meet him. I'm going to eat a carrot with him. I'm going to feed him carrots. Oh. <laughs> right, let's wrap it up. Don't Thank you very it, much like, for watching. In the, in the film, don't eat it. I won't eat don't Olaf, so I'll just feed him carrots. No, don't. Um, give um, Sven carrot and then take it out his mouth and share Ugh, it. No, I'm That's not going to share it. That guy's gross. Right, let's say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, comment. Bosco's yeah. coming in to just poke his head and say hello. <laughs> say hello. Hello. hello there. You're going to do a video hello. with me tomorrow, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to ask you the same sort of questions. I'll tweak them a bit so that you don't uh -huh. think like I watched these yesterday. Um, we'll talk about other stuff. Um, he's confused by the camera already. The camera's there, and it all goes a different way. Um, thank you very much for watching, as I say. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. You can hear the baby in the background. I'm going to stop recording because it's all falling apart. So thanks very much, and we'll see you soon. Bye. 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 You need to shout, you funny boy. Bye.